Hi, I'm Margaret McCall, and I went to the new student dialogue called Colors of the Wind, a dialogue on interracial dating. Whereas my friend Biran would say, interracial dating. Uh, so, do you feel your group achieved true dialogue? Why or why not? I do feel like my group achieved true dialogue. Um, the conversation really flowed between most people in the group. There were quiet people, but most people voiced opinions and shared stories, so there was a lot going on. Um, share observations of the dynamics of your group. Dude, were there active voices in your dialogue? Please explain. There were a good amount of people that participated in this dialogue. Um, the room filled up and there were like a good group of people that shared stories and um, like the topic is interracial dating so there are a good amount of people that have been in an inter interracial relationship or know someone that is or has been in one. Um, but then there are a good amount of people that just had opinions on the topic. Um, Another thing is that uh, everyone in my group was very supportive of each other. Um, there were, I mean, there were different different opinions. There were there were a few people that didn't agree with interracial dating because of how they were raised, but they never had anything bad to th say. They only talked about how they were raised, what they view, and how they understand what other people view. So that's another good thing. There were times when I thought that ar there might be an argument. Um, it wasn't like a disagreement, but one time someone said something and then another person was like, well, that's that's wrong and that's dumb. But it didn't, like, they were just like, yeah, you're right, actually. It kind of sounds stupid. So um, there was no conflict, which was good. Everyone could just talk and not be worried about what other people thought. So. Uh, were there more reserved voices in your dialogue? Please explain. There, there were some people there that I didn't hear a word from, not even to hear their opinion on the topic. I didn't even hear them introduce themselves, but everyone was like actively listening and I saw a lot of people like nod their heads, so I mean, even though they weren't talking, they might have been shy, uh, everyone was listening and like semi-participating. Uh, what role did you play in your group and why? I didn't share any stories, I have never been in an interracial relationship. Um, but I do agree with them and I voice that opinion. I think that um, you love who you love and it just doesn't, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. Um, growing up in the South, that was something that came up a lot in conversation was that um, in the South, people are less accepting of interracial relationships. And I know that like my parents aren't okay with it, but I am. And I feel like we talked about a lot how younger generations are kind of growing up more okay with it, and it's just kind of how you're raised. And there were a couple girls that were from the north that said that it's not even like an issue at all up there, but down here, it's it's kind of an issue. It's it's like it is an issue. <laughs> it's an issue. Um, why do you think dialogue is a component of CU 1000? Do you see dialogue as a useful tool in your university experience? I definitely think dialogue is useful. I think um, it's good practice for people to sit in a group of like small, small, like a small group and talk about something simple like interracial dating and just like everyone has an opinion on it and it doesn't matter what it is and if you're in a space that's like safe and comfortable you can voice your opinion without anyone judging you or being hard on you in any way and I think that's a good thing to have and I think that's a good trait to have in life to be able to just talk about whatever and uh, not worry about someone judging you and uh, so the people that were leading my group, I can't remember their names, but they were really fun. And I heard that dialogue wasn't that fun, but I actually had fun at mine. And there was a good amount of people in there that just had all kinds of funny stories to tell. And it was not bad. Anyway.
anyways. Thanks.